So today I'll be showing you how I remove the background of this picture and turn it from what I have on the right to what I have on the left. And also I'll be showing you how to get your background. So this is a picture that was taken by Amazon Cliff, a very very good photographer in Nigeria. And these are ways that you all can get your backgrounds without buying any pack or anything. So download the picture that has the background that you like, then select it with a it's one of the selection tools. You can use any of the selection tools to select the image. I prefer to use this one. Then you go to your content hour view and automatically it just works. And you click on apply and you click on OK. Now when you do that, basically it removes a kind of um it kind of um study your picture and just does it automatically. But then if you zoom into this image, you still see traces of the image. So what I do is I'm going to take my lasso tool and around where the person is, I select, I select it, then I blow it out. Then make sure you are doing it on the exact layer. So you merge all the layer into another layer by pressing your control shift E. And then you go to your vision blur. Yep, around that it's around that it's fine. Then drag it to your image. Now I have another video where I edited this picture, which I'm going to be posting soon. But I just want to show you how I changed the background. You can see it in the before and after. So this exact picture is not edited at all. No retouching, just basic way of you to change your background easily. So now selected my selected my subject which is the model. Okay, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have my subjects on the, on, on the top layer and then the background in another layer. Then I put the background in between by just dragging it in and drag up to scale Thank up. Thank you for watching this video until it is finished. If useful to you guys, please like and share this. Now like this, the picture is not sitting well on the, on the background. So what you can do is on the background layer, <laughs> No, sorry, on the on the subject, which is the model, you just take your brush. So you pick your brush and um, make sure your yes, your brush color is selected to white. Because what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to 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 the part where my my, bro, my model is sitting on. I'm trying to make it appear a little bit. So I'm just going to brush on white and use my brush then. Oh, sorry, I have to be on the layer max here. Then make sure it's selected white and brush around it just to make it a little bit realistic so that we can actually have our model, you know, actually sitting on the floor. Oh, sorry, actually kneeling on the floor with that particular pose. Yeah, and you can change it to you. You can change it to you. I like the blending mode, it just works perfectly. Then I'm going to save it as 4x5 because I will most probably post this on Instagram. And that's like the normal size for this. So, so I, I tried doing something here. So sometimes the perfect color to pick for your background can be the skin color. Sometimes it just works perfectly. So I'm trying to have that feel of a skin in the in the background I'm, I'm i'm using because most time i don't like to use the background exactly the way i downloaded it and i extracted it because i like to make it look unique a little bit i've created different videos on how you can create different backgrounds you know combining one or two two or three backgrounds together to form your own background just make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you
you.